Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they need to put an outline around it. I don't know how big an outline, but what we're going to do, and if you see that there's the contour tool is going to do a good job, but there's some sharp points and mostly rounded points. So I don't know how close they want to get it, but we're going to grab the item. I'm going to make it no fill and put an outline around it just so I can see some things that you might miss. So we'll go to effects contour. We'll contour the outside with rounded corners, 0 0.05 in red. So we get this. Now you see the reason you probably would have seen that anyway, but there's some little red contours that came inside. So what we can do, we could back up and we could contour. Let's go 0 0.02 and see how close our contour is. And now you see what the problem is. But we don't want this down in there, so we got to go back and let's try 0 0.03. And you just kind of got to play with this till you don't get anything like that. That's pretty good. Now, my suggestion this thing is only two inches wide, so we'll set our nudge factor to three. And we're going to zoom in here and we're going to grab it and we're going to go to object. Sometimes you have to grab the whole thing and then go to object and break the contour apart. Then I'm going to take the outer contour and if you click on it, you see it's in red and I'm going to move it over. And we actually, if they're going to cut it, I don't know what they're going to cut it with, but we actually need to make that a hairline. If it's a laser engraver, you need to cut it with a hairline. Now what we need to do is go to object and break the curve apart. That'll get rid of all the interior parts. So we'll nudge it up and you see the interior parts have been left. So we can just delete all those. Now we can grab the cat again and move it back down. <clears throat> now, if you wanted to, you could fill it back in with black with the smart fill tool and do all the parts. And then when you nudge the cat back over, you have an outline around the cat. Now, I said earlier, you know, if you wanted the ears in the, you know, depending on how you're cutting, if I was going to cut that, I would want that. Now, with that said, if you want a less of a contour, let's move it out of the way for a second. Let's go ahead and grab it all and make it no fill and black just so we can see it. And now let's put the contour back. Now let's contour Make sure you've got the red one and contour to the inside, 0 0.01, let's say. That's going to get you a closer contour to the cat itself. We could actually back up here and maybe go 0 0.02 and hit apply. That gives you a contour just on the outside of the cat. Select it all again and go to object and break the contour apart. And now you're going to really want to kind of zoom in to make sure you get the right contour. And we'll take that one and just hit delete. Now you have a really close contour around the cat. Now, if you wanted it sharp, more sharp points, you could always, and it'd almost be easier to go and fill the cat in. So let's take the contour and move it out of the way. Well, we actually... When I made the contour, it made a black. So we'll take all the black parts of the cat. That one is a double and the legs already there. So we can just delete that. So this is our, we can grab all that and turn it black with a, instead of smart fill, we could be able to left click and make it black. Now let's put it back. And now you can see the contour is just real close. Now, <clears throat> Just depending on how much they want, you could grab the contour and get the get the the shape tool, and you could actually take these. Well, actually take this one, mark it, right click, and turn it into a line. Eh, they didn't work so well. So maybe you can just take this one and just bump it up a little bit, and take these two other contours away, so you get a sharper point. This one's a little bit different. It it's kind of rounded, but we're going to let double click your mouse and spike it up a little bit, get rid of that 
that one and that one, and now you have a sharper image. Now, I don't know what you want to do about the Paul's uh, print. You wouldn't want it too much detailed, but you could do the same thing we did to the ears. And then it just depends on, you know, if you want to cut part of the mouth out. But I think this is what the young lady would be wanting. Now, this is going to cut the whole thing out, so that's good. Nothing's going to fall out. I think that'll work. Anyway, and like right here, you could you could contour that. It's because we contoured with a rounded corners. It couldn't quite get in there. You could always move your contour there and get a closer. You could do the same thing for the mouth. You know, bring that, if you wanted to go inside a little bit more or less, just depending on the personal preference. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.